Hey, 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 greetings and welcome to another video. Today we're playing Civilization 6, so let's have some fun. But if you close your eyes. Hello, awesome people, welcome back to Civilization 6 and welcome to the final episode of the Gifts of the Nile scenario playing as Nubia. Uh, last episode, I asked you guys what you wanted to see. Do you want to see some more war with Egypt or do you just want me to take the game um, by buying the last temple, a faith buying the last temple and just win the game? Well, for this episode, what we're going to do, it's going to be a, a fairly uh, a, uh, special episode in the case that we're going to do some of it all. So we're going to war a little bit with Egypt. At the end of the video, I'm going to faith buy the last temple so we actually win the game. And at the very end, I'm actually going to leave a uh, big hint, <laughs> well it's, it's a really obvious win uh, hint, um, to what my next Civ, ser uh, Civ 6 series is going to be. And I can tell a little, uh, a little bit about it, it's not going to be uh, the vanilla game, it's going to be modded. So I think it's very cool, uh, I hope you guys like it, so leave a comment about what you think. Um, about the new series coming up and also leave a comment about what you thought of this uh, Gifts of the Nile scenario because I think it's it's very cool. It's very open and it, it, it don't really pushes you in, a, in some way to play the game which is very good which most scenarios do you know. Scenarios are mostly based in safer around okay do this uh, to win the game so and this, this one is too but there are multiple options you can you have a lot of freedom to expand you have a lot of open lands although it's lots of, lots of desert um, but you have a lot of freedom and in the other scenarios it's mostly okay you get these units go and conquer all the cities on the map or you get this city make sure uh, you get a lot a lot of culture and that's sort of the thing with most of the scenarios um, but I'm not gonna keep on rambling about that so let's just play the game let's go uh, let's go to uh, some war with Egypt win the game <laughs> and of course at the end of the game check out the new uh, the new hint for the new series and leave a comment about what you think about that. It's going to be the first modded series. Which is very exciting for me because you never know with mods. Mods can be very unbalanced sometimes. Uh, I, I've tested it a little bit so it should not be um, too bad to be honest. We only have future, civ, uh, future civics now so... Can't really... We, we only could choose it there. Okay that, that's a little bit weird but... Fine, um, we are definitely going to shoot this archer. Well, hello. Could you please shoot? Oh, we need to go in range, of course. Miscounting, sorry. Um, do we have any more barbarians around us? So, no. so I believe this is the last city that needs to... Yeah, we could fave by it now and just win the game. We're not going to do that. We're going to have a little... Funny war with uh, Cleopatra, with Egypt, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what happens next. I'm gonna build some builders just for shits and giggles. Um, you are gonna actually go here and hook up to that spearman. And did we actually already went to war? I'm not sure. No. So you are gonna skip our turn. You are sure. Let's put you back in and promote you. The scout is flat, which you shot in the last episode, so. Oh, that was a bit weird. Um fine. Cool Queen Amanirenas, I guess. Meets Osiris. With Amanirenas' death, her life force departs her body and begins a new journey into the afterlife. There she will meet the judgment of Osiris. May her death, uh, may her deeds earn her eternal life. So one of her great generals has been removed, which is not the best case uh, scenario for us. But hey, that's fine. Let's go back here. Um, let's just stay in our own grounds for now. You, you should definitely build a, not a builder, high priestess. We need more of these uh, Nubian pyramids, I guess. You have a high priestess, you should build, um, you know, I'll build a heavy, heavy chariot for the war uh, stuff. Go over here, place one. Another galley, let's move up. 
And yeah, you're gonna be linked. And now we are gonna declare the war. You should attack this guy. Declare war. And uh, lags, yeah. I still love the voice. The, the voice acting on Cleopatra is really good, I think. It, it's really... I, I just love it. It, it. It's just cool. Uh, so, yeah. Move in. Because that's what I said. Move in. Um, why is the battering ram still here? Oh, it's just a... It's just a graphical glitch. Okay, fine. Um, you, move in. Fortify. You, move in. Fortify. You. Move in and shoot the city. Uh, you. Oh, we should have moved here first. You have the great general. Oh shit. No, never mind. Oh, we do. Ha we don't have a lot of archers. You. Burn their holy site. You. Oh, we can't do this. Okay, you're gonna just fortify them. Um, you are gonna go over here. And you are going to go over here and pillage this. Not, not enough movement points left. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. You are going to... Let's ram the city. Just suicide into the city. Why not? Move back into the city and defend. Let's see what's going to happen. No units killed yet. The southwest corner, oh, we got it! A large a new wonder. mass of sandstone has become separated by a deep fissure from the body of the mountain. It has all the appearance of a colossal statue. It looks amazing. This was another reason I wanted to keep on playing, at least for a little bit. I wanted to see this new wonder, which was uh, part of the DLC update from Nubia. Um, so I wanted to see this. It looks, it looks really cool. Yeah, we got it. That's cool, okay. Um, you. You know what? Uh, let's go for High Priestesses. Why not? Let's just build a lot of Nubian Pyramids. Mark it. Sure, why not? You. Ooh, we have uh, some Barbarian Swordsmen. That's not good. High Priestess. You, move out. Shoot this guy. Um, the Magi, let's just leave him over there. You should build a Nylometer or whatever you actually say. Uh, you're gonna move in. You are gonna move out. You're gonna, oops, move back and heal up. Can you move more? No, you can't move anymore. So you, pillage. You, pillage. You, pillage. Oh, I don't really pillage that much. Um, pillage the road, oh, that's actually pretty good. Let's pillage their uh, supply lines. I normally don't pillage that much. Um, Oh, we got it. We're gonna take it. Where's the battering ram? The battering ram is officially over there, I guess. So, if we move you around and do this, yeah. Attack, come on. Take the city. We took it. And let's uh, raise it. Why not? Oh, 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 I totally forgot. Civ 6, is, it's. Again, it's it's done. It's one turn, not even a turn. It's just raising. It's just bam. It's gone. I've been watching some Civ Five, uh, Civ, Civ Five videos lately, um, from other guys. So I was sort of used to if you raise a city, it takes a few turns. But no, um, let's just fortify these guys up now, because I feel like, um, whoops, that was a misclick. Never mind. I feel like. We should probably uh, end it soon because the, the thing was we wanted to take a city uh, and we did so uh, We definitely you know what builder you're just gonna sleep. I'm gonna end it um, fairly soon So we can actually talk about the new series and something else because oh wow We got a lot of barbarians here. They actually killed my, uh, my guy. You know what we're gonna win the game we're gonna win the game with one click of the button and after that I'm gonna talk a little bit about the new series I guess. So let's enjoy this.
We have a basic need to believe in something greater than ourselves. We crave solace in the darkness, a light unto our path. Thanks to you, we found meaning amid the cosmos. We did it! <laughs> and that's actually the first time you can actually see a religious victory uh, video <laughs> on my channel because uh, I've never done it before. Um, I've tried it before, uh, as you guys might know, but it uh, wasn't a success. But we did it this time. Uh, so gifts of the now victory. You have become the first player to build seven temples to the glory of the great god Amun. Surely a great pyramid should be constructed to celebrate your accomplishments. I agree. Uh, although I don't have enough room in my backyard, but hey, why not try it, okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, um, I'm gonna... This is also for myself, so I won't forget <laughs> after the recording. I'm gonna put on screen the new hint um, to the new series. And yeah, we're gonna talk about this because this is the first time I'm gonna do a modded series uh, on Civ 6. Actually, it's the first time I'm gonna do a mod modded series at any point. Um, because I've never done it before and it, I'm f feeling really excited but also a little bit scared because mods can be very very cool and they can be very very uncool. <laughs> uh, I mean I've in the video I talked a bit, little bit about unbalanced mods. I mean balancing uh, games is very very tough for game developers uh, let alone for people who just make some mods. Um, it, it's really hard to make a balanced mod and if you don't make it balanced enough most mods are overpowered let's just put it that way most mods are overpowered because people love to see an overpowered um self in a game um so most mods are overpowered just playing by that's just a normal sort of way the things go um i guess but some mods are too overpowered and that could break the game, um, which I hope will not happen. I, have, I like I said, I have tested this mod. It seems to not be too overpowered. It seems actually pretty pretty balanced, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play uh, play it. And as you might have seen uh, by the <laughs> by the hint already, we're playing as Sweden, and I'm I'm actually fairly excited to play as Sweden. Um, Sweden is... Uh, I don't know a lot about Sweden. That's the, that's the sort of thing. I know some of the, some of the history. Um, one of my subscribers, Freelance Luior, has uh, told me a little bit about the history of Sweden. Uh, which is amazing, by the way. Thank you for that. Um, it was real, very, very interesting. And he assured me that if you had one leader to play as Sweden in the, through the history of Sweden... Um, who would be an interesting fit for a civilization type game, then it would probably uh, be uh, the leader that we are gonna play. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna spoil our everything. So uh, if you're into Sweden history, then leave a comment about which leader you think we might go and play because yeah, like I said, uh, Freelance Lawyer really assured me that this is the right leader to pick uh, if you're gonna go with a Civ uh, type game in, uh, as Sweden. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you guys will enjoy uh, the new series. Um, probably it just the new video will uh, come out at Sunday, so uh, no break in the schedule there for the start of the new series. I also wanted to mention that we're almost at 50 subscribers. I'm very, very excited to get to 50. Uh, I have made a little thank you video. Um, and when we hit 50, it will go live. Uh, and I hope you guys all will watch it because it has some... Um, yeah, it has some, some, some stuff in there. I, I think you guys might like to see and might like to hear also. So, uh, yeah. But enough rambling for now. I could go on for hours talking to you guys because I really like talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, no, this is going to be the end of the video. I love this scenario. I hope you liked it too. Um, Nubia is definitely a, a good nation to put into Civ. Uh, they have some unique and very cool uh, things to them that, very, that work very well in this game. And again, I'm rambling off. So <laughs> I'm going to leave it at this. As always, I've been Hipbone. You've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome.
Thanks for watching.